Today, from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's week one of the NFL preseason of EA Sports. we go from Las Vegas. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. The Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023. The former Patriot, former 49er, Jimmy Garoppolo. It's another typical season for Jimmy G last year when he was out there. He was excellent, leading the 49ers to seven wins and throwing four times as many touchdowns as interceptions. Then the injury bug bit again. But Las Vegas, they're counting on him being able to do the exact same thing they saw in San Francisco, but avoiding injury while doing so. Garoppolo, first play, going to throw it. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. It was Eric Arms. Fighting his way through that time to record the sack. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. Back to return it, Christian McCaffrey. Returnable here from the 38. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. With the Niners offense set to go to work, and it's last year's revelation, Brock Purdy, who leads him out in season number two from Iowa State. There weren't many bigger stories last season than Purdy, who's officially the most famous Mr. Irrelevant of all time. Won each of his first five starts and almost guided his team to a Super Bowl. He's really forced the team to reevaluate his plans at quarterback because he looks like the real deal. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, it's Purdy. Open man is Ayu complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. Nifty move. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. Purdy to throw it on first down. Oh, that's into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Nate Hobbs. And the Raiders are gonna take over at their own 11 yard line. Three and a half to go, first quarter. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. 
And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. A first carry for the All-Pro running back. It's Josh Jacobs. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Play action. Garoppolo. He's got Hooper on the short connection. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Here's Mitchell now to kick off the drive. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Throwing on first down is Lance. Being chased out left. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. From the gun, it's Lance. And that's incomplete. Anytime a ball is thrown in the middle of the field is pumped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. And Lance will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact there at the end of the play. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. On first and ten, here's Lance. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing now is Lance. They'll run the screen with Mitchell. 
They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage. It should be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that. And now a fumble. The ball's out, and the Raiders pick it up. And the return will stop them well inside their own 20 at the 15-yard line. You know, if this is the regular... Season partner, we'd be talking about just how costly a mistake that was, but probably good for him to get it out of his system right now. Just hope for him and the team it's not a sign of things to come. Yeah, without a doubt. Plus, got to worry about making the team. Those types of errors don't help you. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Now Hoyer. He's got Hooper on the short connection. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring us to a third and four. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Here's Hoyer. And that is incomplete. Not many brews just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half. And now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. They juked him. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Right now, right now. Up, the 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic go. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Lance now on first down. Gets it out wide to Davis Price. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Like it's been as negative as he just got back to the line of scrimmage. But when you really analyze it, he took away a big play for the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided a sack and didn't lose yardage. Lance looking to throw on third and two. Over the middle, the catch made by Mitchell. And they are going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Lance. Screenplay setting it up for Mitchell. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Here we go now on first and goal. Now Lance. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Second and goal from the one. The Lance going to throw. Steps away. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Trey Lance. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Niners have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. 
What we just saw there is definitely what the 49ers saw in him when they swung that big deal to move up to number three in the draft in 2021. He did run for 1,100 yards and 14 touchdowns in his one full season in 2019 in North Dakota State. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brad. Boy, a rough crowd. No football for six months already. We're skipping halftime. All right, let's get right back to the action. We're set for quarter three. Probably not likely to see many starters in the second half as we get back at it underway in this preseason opener. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And despite the turnovers, Charles, and, and they had multiple in that first half, they still have the lead as they begin this third quarter. And they probably heard some conflicting tones at the half, don't you think? A lot of praise for what they did to get this lead, but also a little bit of scolding because they got to take better care of the football in the second half. But you and I both know the great leaders, they know how to give that little bit of vinegar in there and cover it with a big dose of honey. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw, it's Lance. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. He found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On play action, Lance. Leaping, and he makes the grab. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one goes for 24 yards. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory, right at the 40. Lance looking to throw it. Over the middle, and he's got Gray. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. First down, here's Mitchell. They'll yeah, get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And Lance now to throw. Drops this underneath, it's Mitchell. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And power running here down to the six-yard line. A good run as he works his way for nine that time, and it'll leave him with a third and just a few inches. Shotgun now for Lance. Forced out to his left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Go! 
Working from the gun, Lance. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Ray Ray McLeod from a yard out. And the 49ers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Moody good with the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So that drive 12 plays in length. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. No run back here for Hall, and this will come out to the 25. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does at least a little bit because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Hoyer's throw taken in by Adams. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 39. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Hoyer. It's caught over the middle. Hooper. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. A first run for the backup, Abdullah. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. The quick slant caught. Touchdown. DeAndre Carter. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point by Carlson up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter as the Raider kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Raiders pick it up. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So a turnover there on the kickoff, and don't look. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. 
Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. On first down, Lance. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Yeah, he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And that pickup... Lance now on first down. Steps away to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and six. On second down, here's Mitchell. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. And remember, no overtime here in preseason. This offense hoping that's a moot issue as they try to finish this one off. Dancing to his left. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? Ebon, make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And here he'll get it down to the seven. But every yard they gain, getting them better and better field position. And obviously, a field goal makes this a two-score contest. That's really all they need. And that means for your play call, he's not looking to the attack portion of the sheet, right? He's looking for, okay, what do we have that's going to keep us at a good spot? No last yardage plays. Let's kick a field goal and go up two scores. If we score a touchdown, taking the knee for the W. I mean, I've often thought to myself when I watch these preseason games, some teams need to win more than others. You know, if you're established and used to win, not quite the same. But if you're trying to learn how to win, it's important to get it done. To be able to kneel down at the end, even better. So the victory here for San Francisco, and it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. I almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. That'll do it for us for Charles
Davis and all our hard work to grow. You've been watching the NFL on EAA Sports.